Okay, so um, I think I remember this is a um, a girl salmon because about these um, beaks, um, the longer pointy beaks, that's a um, like a a boy salmon. But um, the one. One year after painting an interpretive mural focusing on the life cycle of salmon at Kanaka Creek Regional Park, community partners and students, both young and old, were back to celebrate their accomplishments. Today we're having uh, as many people as we can come down and recognize the efforts that have been put into this art mill project. We have uh, dollar different partners that have been involved in the process coming together to try and recognize the work that was done to help continue to make people aware of the, the salmon and the life cycle of the salmon and the importance of the environment. Metro Vancouver Regional Parks protects natural areas and looks to provide opportunities that deepen people's connection to nature. In order to make this project a reality, the Metro Vancouver Regional Parks Foundation partnered with the City of Maple Ridge, Kanaka Education and Environmental Partnership Society, and Kwantlen First Nation, many of whom were out to celebrate the work of the students. You kind of forget how cool it looks. I haven't seen it for a while coming back here. It brings back a lot of memories. It brings me right back to seeing the kids here painting and the conversations we had and all the ideas and all that stuff. It's really, really nice to be back here. I work with a lot of schools and a lot of students, but this was a special group. But there was a, a, this element of wisdom with these young people where they really seem to understand not just the environment and, and ecology and conservation, but their understanding of how they play a role in it and their connection with each other. The mural is located at the fish fence site where salmon are counted for the hatchery upstream. The hatchery runs a conservation program that ensures younger generations can see the life cycle of salmon. Oh, there's something over there. And the mural is providing another resource to help educate the public about this life cycle. Well, this is my actually first time seeing it fully finished, so it's very nice to see. What I learned about the life cycle of salmon is that I wasn't really kind of aware of how they really kind of live their life of how they kind of live mostly in the ocean and then come back to the river that they came from to lay their eggs and die. But yeah, it's a nice little life cycle that they have. It comes full circle. Oh, what we learned? Yeah, it was fun. It was, we learned about the salmon's culture. So basically, um, they come and they lay their row and then they die. Yep, and then, and then um, it, the, the eggs hatch and then it goes all over again. Yeah. In my opinion, when people see this and they understand the magnitude of what went into a project like this, they really can't help but reflect that it's a caring community and that a lot of people have invested a lot to make this beautiful and to make it wonderful.